Welcome back. For the ninth straight week, Hawaii has seen a rise in new COVID-19 cases. The state today reports just under 9,000 new cases in the past week. You can see a breakdown by island up on your screen. The statewide average test positivity rate now stands at just over 18 percent. That means that more than 18 of every 100 tests administered in the islands come back positive. But the state health department continues to warn that number is an undercount because many people are taking at-home tests that are not reported to the state. The state also reports five residents diagnosed with the virus recently died. Today, there are 151 COVID patients in Hawaii hospitals. Take a look at this graph. It shows the gradual increase in COVID hospitalizations over the past month. On April 20th, the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency reported 36 COVID patients in hospitals across the state. That was five weeks ago. But by May 11th, the number was up to 91. Healthcare officials have said the ability of hospitals to treat COVID patients, as well as those patients admitted for other reasons, is a key indicator as to how well the state is managing the pandemic. Maui County Mayor Michael Victorino urges residents to use COVID sense. Today, he released a joint statement with Maui Memorial Medical Center Chief Medical Director Michael Shia, who says there are three COVID patients in the intensive care unit and two on ventilators. That's a 60% increase from two weeks ago. The mayor requests that people wear masks indoors, on public transportation, and outdoors in groups. Those at high risk for severe disease should take the antiviral drug Paxlovid early on in their COVID diagnosis. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports while recent findings show some people who took the drug had a reappearance of symptoms, those symptoms were often mild and brief. If that happens, the CDC recommends those patients isolate for at least five days as a precaution. Well, a new study suggests the COVID vaccine provides some protection against long COVID. Researchers from the VA St. Louis Healthcare System looked at 12 million records in the Veterans Affairs National Database. They found that vaccinated people were less likely to have COVID symptoms six months after their initial infection.